Greetings fellow coin collectors. As promised, Coin Snatcher here and I thought we'd do a little £2 coin hunt and we'll do a little £1 coin hunt as well. Find these uh, odd coins on my shelf so I thought I'd take a little look through them. If there's any of them that are of any value, leave a comment, let me know and let's get on with it. So first of all, we have a £2 coin from 2011 and this one has the center punched out on it so quite unusual uh, it's also a really really weak strike if I get the camera down on that you can see there's virtually no print on that it's all uh, worn away it hasn't been struck correctly at all and if we turn it over to the other side you can see how poor the strike is on that so no detail at all other than you can see the, the Queen's face, which really doesn't look quite right either. But uh, not too sure what's happened to this coin, if it came out of the mint like this, or if somebody's vandalised it. But I found it quite interesting and bought it at the time. Now, I couldn't honestly tell you if it's a fake £2 coin or not. I really don't know. Uh, so that's one to have a discussion about. But the ring's out and the centre's out on that one. Now just in the same vein, I have the £1 coin as well, and the £1 coin has the same problem with it where the inner has come out of the outer ring. So you can see on that the inner lines, and that's where the metal would squash into and it would hold in place. Now I did notice that the £2 coin doesn't seem to have these little lines, and that leads me to believe that this £2 coin is probably a fake. So pop that over to the side, we'll pop the one pound coin over to the side and let's have a look at the two pound coins. So first two pound coin that we have in the pile is the Shakespeare's and this one is Histories and has the edge inscription, the hollow crown. So nothing too unusual about that. These coins were quite rare in circulation up to a few months ago. But now the Royal Mint is releasing these coins from their long store. There's literally millions of them turning up all over the place. So not as rare as it once was, but still a desirable coin, part of a really nice three coin set. The second coin we have then is the Tragedies uh, William Shakespeare coin from 2016. And this is a particular coin that has an edge inscription error. So this should read, what a piece of work is a man. And this one has the edge inscription from the 2016 World War I coin, which says for king and country. Now these coins are currently valued at around 30, 35, maybe 40 pounds in a good day. However, uh, estimates put put the mintage error to possibly around a hundred thousand but there's no confirmed figure so it's a case of we've just got to wait and see what happens in the future with this coin but i do think it's quite rare uh, there's not too many others have been found so that's a nice coin next coin we have is a really nice example of one of the first two pound coins which is the 1986 commonwealth two pound coin a uh, really nice coin. This is the single metal coin. So slightly heavier than the existing coins we have now. Considerably thicker as well. And has the edge inscription Commonwealth Games Scotland 1986. So I also have this coin in a bunk pack. And I bought this when I first started collecting coins quite a few years ago now. And didn't realise at the time but when I bought this pack it had been written on inside so to Angela from Nana and Granda July 1986 but she was absolutely thrilled to get this as a Christmas present <laughs> so if we pop that down and um, we can see that's a really nice example of the coin that we just looked at in fact the one that is out of the packaging is pretty much as shiny as the one that's in the packaging so a couple of my two pound coins there they're nice and then the next two-point coin that we have 
is one of my favorite designs and this is the Britannia two pound coin so originally released in 2015 with a mintage of 650,000 and then released in 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20 as the definitive coin. Unfortunately, not too many of these have been circulated in recent years, but a really, really nice design, classical design, and looks really good on the two pound coin. Next coin we have then is a, oh, a dodgy one. So we can tell just as soon as I pick this one up and look at it, that it's a fake. And if we have a little look at it, it's a 2015 fake. They have sort of got the hologram thing in the middle, but it doesn't actually have any effect really. And you can just tell by feeling this by the ridge. It's got a really, really sharp ridge on it. You can see how much that comes up, that it is a fake. So again, a really weak strike on the obverse of the coin. So we'll pop that to the side. That's a bit of a novelty. And then the next coin we have is the Charles Darwin coin. So you have Charles Darwin and the ape, and a really nice example of this coin as well. I do like this design of two pound coin where the obverse has all the little dots, the two rings of dots around the inner and outer ring, really nice. And then the next coin we have is, ah, so this is a 1998 Bailiwick of Jersey two pound coin. It's quite a common two pound coin. It's probably not worth any more than face value. But if you do collect two pound coins and you're into Jersey coins, then you would probably have this one in your collection as well. Now this next coin is one of my favorite coins. It looks absolutely stunning if you have it as a bunk coin. This is a circulated coin, but it's in really, really good condition. Uh, I think it's been taken out of circulation reasonably soon and still has plenty of luster, plenty of shine on it. And you can just see the way the design captures the light and reflects it really, really nice. Next coin we have then is the 2014 anniversary of the Guinea coin. And straight away, when you look at this coin, what's interesting to note about this is it's off struck in the center. So you can just see this ring of dots and it disappears up into the top bit of the coin. So it's not a major error, probably doesn't add any value to the coin, but you can tell just by looking at it that it's not right. Interesting coin as well. So next coin we have then is one of the slightly rarer ones. Anybody who collects the two pound coins will undoubtedly have one of these in their collection. And this is the 2008 Beijing uh, Olympic Games. It's the handover. So really, really nice coin. Quite a rare coin. It has the obverse on it that I like with the IRB portrait. And yeah, one of the rarer ones, harder to come by and does attract a premium over the price of a standard coin. So the next coin we have is, oh yes, one of the more popular ones. So this is a Commonwealth Games from 2002. And if you look at the little flag, you can see it's the England flag. So these coins are all the, well, the England, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. They're the four lowest mintage two pound coins. Uh, the Northern Ireland one is the absolute lowest one. England, Scotland, Wales, they don't command the same premium that the Northern Ireland one does. Still a really nice coin and essential in any collection. Now the next coin we have is the 2013 Underground and this is the Roundel design. There is another coin in, in the set which has the Underground train on it. And these coins are, well, they're going up in value. There was quite a few of them minted, but they have always seemed to hold their popularity. And I think generally they do command above face value. I did have the silver proof set of these coins, the PA4 set. And that was one, if well, it was the lowest mintage two pound coin silver proof set that you could buy incredibly low mintage i think it was 184 coins on the roundel and maybe 164 on the underground so really nice coin and a really nice one to have in the collection as well and then the final two pound coin we have is possibly one of my favorite designs so this is the mary rose two pound coin 
and this one goes back to 2016 as well oh, sorry 2011 I uh, thought it was 2016, 2011, and this one has the same issue as the previous Guinea two pound coin that we looked at, whereby you can see that the the rings, the dots, have disappeared on this side of the coin, but you can see them clearly on this side. Pop it over, it's a really, really nice design. I think John Burkdahl designed the Mary Rose two pound coin, and a bit underrated in my opinion, it's a low mintage coin. It's probably one to keep an eye out in the future if you're lucky enough to get one that is in really good condition. So that's my little extras uh, when it comes to the two pound coins. We've got a few of those. We've got some in the folders as well. And we've got a couple of the, the broken ones there. So finally for today, just as a little bit extra, I did find some pound coins that I'd forgotten about. So I thought we'll have a little look at the pound coins while we're here and do an old school one. So what have we got first of all? This looks like a 1983 Royal Crest of Arms. Let's pop that down to see. Yep, 1983. So the very first pound coin that came out. That's cool. And then the next one we have is... Uh, this is the Neanderthal, Neanderthal Man Skull, and this is from Gibraltar, and this is 2009. So that's quite a cool coin as well. When I did collect all the pound coins, I had the jersey, Gibraltar, collected them all. So this is an Isle of Man one pound coin, and this is a cricket one. So you can see the stumps and the bat, etc. there. And this one is from 1998. It's a bit battered, but hey-ho. Next one we have is a really nice one. So this is part of a series of four coins that was released in 2010-2011, celebrating the four major cities of the UK. So London, Belfast, Edinburgh and Cardiff. So this is the Belfast coin. I think uh, it's the Edinburgh coin out of the four that is the rarer one, but I think the Belfast one comes in the second place. There you've got the flag of Belfast, uh, which represents the port of Belfast. You've got the bell for the ship, etc. So all to do with seafaring and, and the sea. Excellent coin, really nice. Next coin we have, oh, coincidentally, it looks like another one of these uh, city coins, but this time it's the London coin. So you can see the Sword of London uh, the mark, and if we turn it around to the back again, this is a 2010 coin. IRB one as well. So that's a nice little coin to have in the collection. And then, well, we're not bothered with that. That's another 1983. Ah, so this one is the Royal Crest of Arms, and this was the one of the most recent ones that was released. This is a 2015 coin, and I think these designs are really, really nice on the one pound coin. I think the Royal Crest works really, really well. And that's a nice example. You've got the unicorn and the lion. And then the next coin we have is part of the uh, floral series of four coins that were released, uh, representing England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. And this coin is from 2013. And this one would look, look to have the English oak and the English rose on it. So this is the England floral coin. Next coin we have is from the Isle of Man, and this is the Raven one pound coin. So if I remember right, this is 2017, yep. And this uh, coin was released after the introduction of the 12-sided UK one pound coin. So the Isle of Man continued striking round one pound coins, even when the UK had stopped and gone on to the bimetal one. So a nice coin, Raven one, keep an eye out for that. Next one we have is the same coin again. I got a couple of these because I like them. Got the birds on them, remember? Anything with a bird on it, I tend to like. And we got the raven and the eagle there as well. Really, really nice. And the Triskelion in the top. Next coin is a very battered, very worn uh, Isle of Man two pound coin. This one is from the year 2000. And this one shows the Triskelion and the three bells of man. And this is a Millennium coin, the Millennium Bells, it says on it. So that's a nice little one pound coin as well. Moving on to the next one, it's another Isle of Man coin. And 
This one is St. John's Chapel on Tinwald Hill. So not the most interesting of subjects really, but still a nice one pound coin. And it's always nice to see the one pound coins from the territories or from the Isle of Man. Next we have a same coin again, slightly better condition, St. John's Chapel, 2013 from the Isle of Man. Uh, the first one of St. John's Chapel was 2010. So they obviously did what the UK did and used the same design and released them every few years. Next we've got another Neanderthal man from Gibraltar. And let's see if we can just see what this one says on it. Discovery of Neanderthal skull in Gibraltar, 1848. Cool. I have a couple of friends who have uh, heads that are shipped like that. Now, the next coin we have is another one of the city coins, and this is another Belfast one. So not in as nice condition as the previous one, but still quite a nice coin to have. Next one we got is... Ah, so this looks like if it's Calpe, it's most likely Gibraltar. So if we have a little look at the back of it, and yeah, Gibraltar 1993 little bit of a mucky coin that one but uh yeah nice to have a gibraltar one pound coin in the collection i think we've got gibraltar jersey isle of man and then the next one we have is a 2000 one this almost looks fake probably not though there's enough detail in the design of the dragon and that of course is the welsh one pound coin now for anybody who collects the royal mint silver 20 pound coins the Royal Mint release a Welsh version every year, which has this dragon on it. And it's a really, really nice looking coin. Really nice. So the next coin we have is the Welsh Welsh Leak. Or Scottish Leak, is it? Welsh Leak? I don't know. It's one, one of the two. I think it's Welsh. Is that Welsh right around the end? Yeah, that's Welsh. If you can't read it, it's Welsh. Pleadial with him. So there's a bit of Welsh for you. And then the next coin we have, oh, it's another Welsh leak, slightly dirtier one, a bit more worn. We'll chuck that over to the side. And now we have the Royal Crest of Arms. So this has been released several times, possibly 2012. Yep, 2012 coin, this one. Nice edge inscription on the side. And it's, you can feel how thick these old one pound coins are. I think they're thicker than the new ones. So we're nearly at an end. Uh, we've got another one of the Royal Crest two one pound coins. That's a nice example as well. And that one's from 2015. A, another Royal Crest from 2012. I think I like these ones with the crests on them, the heraldic ones. And then we've got a really mucky, stained, dirty Royal Crest one from 2008. Don't know what's happened to that, but it's been through the mill. And next coin, penultimate coin, ah, fantastic coin. So this is the one pound coin from Northern Ireland. It has the, the Celtic cross on it with the Celtic bands. And this one is from 2001. Again, I like the dots around the edge of the coins. And then the very last one pound coin we have to have a look at is the 2011 Royal Shield. So there we go. So that's some of the £2 coins I've got. I've probably got more hiding about on the shelves and in drawers and cupboards and stashed away. But that's it for now. So for anybody who's into their £2 coins, £1 coins, what do you think of that little stash? Is there any of those you need? If there is, let me know. I'm sure we can work out a trade. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Peace and love. Coin Snatcher out.